the way to look at this first section here this is for six marks you're gonna work out the watt um, or kilowatt for each one of these and then add it up at the end and that would be your total connected load in kilowatts and then you have to calculate the current drawn using this okay and a power formula uh, for 812 so we start here and I've made some notes on these slides so firstly the first note here would be step one is to calculate the plugs ignore the information this information but the area here is important where do I get this I get this from the sands from the annex itself so it says here step 2 refer to annex C222B and I'm simply referring to uh, let's see if I can find it this so C22B and I need to look at the square meters I will use this one because I don't have less than a hundred so I will use this so there's three parts to this part one is five kilowatt for the first hundred square meter under cover then one kilowatt for each additional 100 square meter or a part thereof would be the third part okay so going back to that slide step three after you've then applied this part to the floor area for plugs then you must multiply that by the diversity factor diversity factor also found here and it says clearly diversity factors this is from the sands uh, book lighting heating cooking and socket outlets so the diversity factor would be 0 0.5 okay so that is for plugs where do we find that what does it look like it says there five kilowatt for the first hundred square meter then it would be uh, four kilowatt which means one kilowatt for every hundred square meter and a part thereof so the part thereof would be the nine point whatever it was all right and then multiplied by the diversity factor that's what we get there first uh, 100 square meter would be 5 kilowatt or 5000 watt then you must add the uh, 309 point whatever it was so that would be a 1 kilowatt times 4 times the diversity factor that would be the answer right so we go then to the second section so I've summarized that slide right then the lights we would look at again sands annex C where do I get this I get this here C2.2 a for each lamp at the rated lamp load at least 60 watt so if you have one lamp it would be one lamp times 60 watt if you have 13 lamps it's 13 lamps times 60 watt that's what this means so the notes show here uh, step one multiply 13 with 60 refer to the annex right step two multiply the outcome there after you've taken that times 13 times 60 and then you will use and multiply it with the the answer you will multiply with the diversity factor right also found with diversity factors from sands over here lighting and socket outlets both has got the same diversity factor over here right your second one would be or third one would be water heater which is your geyser and what do they say about geysers step one is the rated load according to annex uh, 2.2 2.2 2.2 2.2 
to see that would you find you would find it um, also right there from sands for water heaters and all other equipment the total rated load okay so that's where I find that and the diversity factor here you would find also with diversity factors uh, water heaters and motor loads and all motor loads one so you times whatever the outcome was whatever you multiplied it by whatever loads you had the outcome there times one so it will just stay the same uh, water heater loads that means your geezers that would cooking would be stove okay so water heaters geezers out with the cylinders and all motor loads motor loads will be single phase motors three phase motors obviously and uh, uh, ceiling fans and extractor fans as motors so that would fall under this all right keep that in mind because the next one would be interesting it's a motor combined with lighting so let's have a look at that that would be the water heaters two times two thousand okay and that would be looking like that there that's your two times two thousand times your diversity factor one gives you that amount then now we have the hundred watt ceiling fan with three lights here now you need to separate this and this is a motor diversity factors one so hundred watt times one in brackets plus three lights times 60 watt you need to add that yeah i give you the notes giving you every step and it says the ceiling fan motor refer to the annex uh, and for the three lights follow the steps above in green here okay there we go diversity factor would be 0 0.5 that would take us to this over here that is your uh, ceiling fan which is a motor diversity factor is one three by 60 watts diversity factor five you add it and you get 190 watt right so for the next one stove with a two kilowatt remember here your diversity factor will be 0 0.5 um, the rated load that means 2 times 2000 that's about uh, 4000 and 1 times 1.5 kilowatt that is 4000 uh, plus 1500 watt and then a f added adding a further uh, 2000 watt okay so that's 7500 times your diversity factor of 0.5 yeah i give you notes let's see multiply the outcome in step one with a diversity factor and it would look something like this okay there we go diversity factor 0 0.5 remember i get this from the cooking which would be a stove diversity factor is 5 0 0.5 right on to the next one so after you've found all the watts uh, you need to add them and that would be 8.1.1 so all those that you worked out is for that that's six marks okay what does it look like this is what it looks like that's 8.1.1 then 8.2.1 you have a formula now just as an extra note optional you can do all of this in kilowatt uh, read this note here but the issue is is that uh, you can have to convert it here again to watts so it's probably easy to just work in watts and then just give the answer here the total load in uh, kilowatt all right uh, what else have i done here there's the power formula so it's actually P equals V times I. If you manipulate it, it would be I equals P over V. Okay, so that value there 
divided by 230. Remember, we use 230 volts for single phase and 400 for three phase. This is standard according to SANS. This is the voltages that we, we use um, to calculate. The answer here would be uh, 55.78 amps. Then the second part of the question would be uh, what would the let's just have a look at the question uh, give the maximum size of the main circuit breaker that can be used for this installation this is something that you should just know and also they say if the installation is fed from a meter kiosk by a 16 millimeter square 3 core armor cable copper cable what will the ampere rating of the circuit protection uh, protecting the cable be okay so that's for one mark and that's probably also for one mark there so I got it a little bit messed up here that should be 8.2 and 8.3 let's just see here alright so where do I get this this we can just grab from industry as we know it but I've also looked at um, some tables here and if I can find them so just go see where this is this is from the digital copy i don't have a page number for you but um it's not as if they give this table for you or, or, or to be used but just to look at this table and to see where they find this uh, nominal cross-sectional area would be the the cable that we use either 10 mil or 16 mil uh, the amps we worked out 55 amps so we're not going to use this row, row here all right we will use then the next one 60 or 80 then this is the length per cable so this is from uh, installation rules paper 2 but we we must know this table anyway all right so here they line up the circuit breaker rating with the a nominal cross-sectional area and we know mains normally a low-cost housing would use 10 millimeter squared uh, armored cable or wiring and standard house uh, 16 millimeter squared so we look at these two so 10 mil we would be using over a length of say 43 uh, meters um, then we would use a 60 amp circuit breaker if we 